Recap City here, in today's video, I'm going to show you a 2021 action thriller called The 355. Make sure to watch till the end. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The movie opens up in the south of Bogota, Colombia. A man named Clark meets up with a cartel boss, Santiago. He presents him with a special drive that his son Hieronimo, had made. The drive was a powerful technological weapon, because it could control any digital device on the planet. Unknown to them, special agents were outside waiting to ambush them. When Clark saw how powerful the drive was, he kills Hieronimo and attacks Santiago and his men. Unfortunately, the special agents invaded the house, Clark managed to escape, as everyone else died in the shootout except a special agent known as Luis, he takes the drive and then leaves. The movie then switches to the CIA headquarters, the CIA head was told that a Colombian operative known as Luis, is willing to sell the drive for $3 million, so he could disappear with his family, Marx was told that he had agreed to meet up in Paris with the drive. Agent Mason Mace, was then appointed to go on the mission with her partner Nick Fowler, who is in love with her. They disguised as romantic partners who were on honeymoon. Mace and Nick then traveled to Paris, they met up with Luis at a cafe, but things went bad when another agent known as Marie, who was also spying on Luis took the bag containing the drive and then flees. Mace chased after the agent in a hot pursuit. Meanwhile Nick went after Luis. Mace caught up with Marie in a subway station, but she managed to escape using a train. Marie was then disappointed when she found out that the bag she took wasn't containing the drive. On the other hand, Nick lost track of Luis, he met up with Clark in an alley, Clark asks for the drive but Nick replies saying he wasn't with it. Luis goes back to his hotel where he meets up with a therapist known as Graciela, who was sent by the Colombian agency. She tells Luis that he could open up his secrets to her and tell her about the drive. The scene then switches to the German agency headquarters, after the agency had gathered information concerning the CIA agents, Mace and Nick Fowler. Marie tells her boss, Jonas, that she really has to go on this mission and involving too many men might just blow up the whole mission, after much persuasion, Jonas finally agreed to let her go on the mission. Meanwhile, back at the CIA headquarters, Marks tell Mace that Nick didn't make it and his body was found in an alley, she became devastated as Nick was her best friend and secret lover. Mace then tell Marks to put her on the mission, although Marks wasn't willing to put her on the mission because she wasn't in her right state of mind. She still insists to go on the mission, she tells him that she would get help from her friends and he doesn't have to worry about her. Mace then travels to London to meet her longtime friend, Hadija who is a cyber intelligence specialist. After Khadija had finished her presentation, Mace tells her about the mission but she declines saying she is no longer in the field and she is done with that kind of life. She introduces Mace to her partner Ahmed. She tells Maeve that they are living happily and do not want any troubles. But after Mace had explained how important the mission was, saying the drive could control any digital system including nuclear facilities, and that they killed her partner Nick because of the mission. Khadija agrees to help. She ran an intel on Marie and tracked down Luis. So the two prepared to leave for Paris. Meanwhile, Graciela convinced Luis to take the drive back to the Colombian agency, as the two prepared to leave, they were attacked by Marie who had been spying on them. Mace and Hadija were also present at the scene, so they went after Marie, one of Luis' agents then turns on him and shoots him. Mace was still battling it out with Marie, while the agent flees with the bag. The three then runs after him but he escaped with a boat. However before Luis died, he gives Graciela a phone that only her fingerprints could unlock, the phone is able to track down the drive. Marie then pretends to be a police as she takes Graciela to a safe house, however Mace and Hadija finds them, during a standoff, Hadija tells Mace and Marie to join forces as they have a common enemy and fighting each other won't do them no good. Graciela then tracks the drive with the phone as it was revealed that the thief was headed to Morocco. So they all traveled to Morocco. They tracked the thief but he was able to do a handoff. They took down some mercenaries who were after him and then safely retrieved the drive. Hadija decrypts the drive and then found out that it was a next generation type of data and technology, so they decide to hand it over to Marks. After they had delivered the drive to Mark, the girls then went out for a drink as they bonded and shared their first time experiences as agents. Meanwhile Marks was attacked by another agent who took the drive and killed him, the girls watch on news, that there were several plane crashes and power outages. They then deduced that the drive had fallen into the wrong hands, so the girls went back to meet Marks, but they found him dead, as they were searching for the drive, Grady and some CIA agents came over to arrest them, Grady then framed Macy and the girls for the death of Marks. They tried to explain to him but he wouldn't listen, so they took him out and then escaped. 
With no information concerning the drive, the girls then go back to the thief they had retrieved the drive from. They questioned him concerning the drive but he refused to give answers, growing impatient. Marie shoots him in the leg, she tells him he would bleed out and die if he doesn't start talking. With no other choice, the thief then reveals that there is an auction taking place in Shanghai, and the plane crashes and power outages was just an advertisement to show what the drive could actually do. So the girls head out to Shanghai, as they got there, Hadija briefs them on the mission. She tells them that she had put their name on the guest list, and she will steer them through once she gets into the systems and camera. She tells them that the event is a legitimate auction for ancient arts and artifacts but it's a cover for the real auction taking place on the dark net in their phones. She continues by saying the drive would be hidden in one of the artifacts for sales and she doesn't know which, so they have to rely on their social skills to figure out the item. When they figure out the item, she will create a diversion to enable them grab the drive and then escape. As they got inside the auction building, Graciela flirts with a billionaire to find out which item they had put the drive in for auction. As the auction was about to begin, Mace was surprised to see Nick alive. After they reunited, she was shocked to find out that he had been working for Clark all along. Nick then tried to convince her to join him but she refused. Nick then tells one of his goons not to let her go out as he leaves the room to go auction for the drive. He won the bid after he had placed over $500 million for the drive on the dark net. Meanwhile Mace fights off Nick's goon. Nick then takes the drive to the Chinese woman that placed it on auction, to confirm if it was original, but as Marie and Hadija attack them, he takes the drive and then leaves. As the police arrive the scene, the Chinese woman who identified herself as Lin Min Sheng then helped them escape, she takes them to her safe house, where she explained that the auction was just a means to draw out high-ranking criminals and collect informations concerning them. She reveals that she actually sold nothing on the dark net and the real drive was still with her. Mace became furious because she killed Marx for nothing, Lin then tells her that Marx was also working for Nick and they were all working for Elijah Clark. A known terror financier. So she had to stop the drive from falling into the wrong hands. As Nick delivered the drive to Clark. Clark beats him up after he found out that he brought a decoy. In the next scene, Hadija calls her boyfriend Ahmed, she promises him that she would be back soon and he doesn't have to worry. Graciela checks up on her own family in Colombia, while Mace is heartbroken because Nick had betrayed her. As Lynn was making tea for Mace to ease her pain, Nick and his men ambushed the group. They held them at gunpoint. He asked for the drive but they refused to give answers, Nick then revealed that his men has Jonas, Ahmed and Graciela's family. He killed Lynn's father as he executed Jonas and Ahmed on camera. He left Graciela's family live after they have handed him over the drive. Nick then takes Lynn with him to avoid any hiccups. As the girls were grieving, Marie noticed that Lynn had camera on her glasses and she was transmitting her location to them. Hadija who was ready to avenge her lover's death, then decide to continue in the mission. She tracks down Lynn as they all arm themselves to infiltrate the building. When they got there, they rescued Lynn who had just finished decrypting the drive. In a heavy shootout, Nick is being shot by Graciela after he attempted to kill Marie. The group was then arrested by the police. Three months later, it is revealed that Nick had survived the bullet, he goes over to meet Clark as he shot him several till he died. Nick was then promoted to a higher rank in the CIA after he had killed Clark while the girls were on the run after they escaped custody. Later on, the girls paid Nick a visit in his apartment. After they had poisoned his drink, Mace tells him that she had a team that will take him to a cell in another part of the world for eternity, there he will pay for his sins. Nick then passed out, the girls then bid their farewell as they went their separate ways. The End If you like this video, subscribe for more contents like this, goodbye till we meet again.